Hey Ghosts, Ghost Recon Breakpoint released a bunch of content after the launch of the game all the way back in October of 2019. In this video, the game plan team will take you through our most noteworthy additions to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. The dev team was hard at work gathering player feedback, and some notable changes are things like the AI teammates that were added back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint with their own progression system, and weapons such as the ACR and M110 were also added down the line just as a few examples. We're going to be going over some of the community favorite changes as well as some of our own. So strap yourselves in, Ghosts. Here are the big, important moments you may have missed if you haven't been following Ghost Recon Breakpoint since launch. The first thing we're going to talk about are the Ghost Experience updates that went live a couple of years ago. Just after we released Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we knew that we had to make a few tweaks to the game to please our core players. A few months later, we released the Ghost Experience. The Ghost Experience allows players to fine-tune different settings in the game, while also bringing in new different parameters for players to explore. The major additions that came with Ghost Experience are no gear level and realistic looting. We know that the RPG mechanics aren't for everyone, so with this rework, we removed the notion of gear score entirely and made the looting system much more realistic for players. We knew that we needed to also go over how the injury system works in the game to make them more difficult or even easier for players. The Ghost Experience allows you to choose how much stamina you wish to consume, how often your player gets severely injured, and how the health regen system works. Some extra features were also added for Ghost looking to get an extra touch of realism with Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Bullets can now get lost on reload if your magazine isn't empty, and new HUD settings that will allow you to fine tune what you want to see in game. There was also a second update to the Ghost Experience that brought with it new gameplay elements as well as some world modifiers that allowed you to remove those pesky drones, for example. Some of the other highlights of this second update were the addition of Bullet Lore, a way to distract enemies to either divert attention or to get up close for CQC. We also added the ability for you to cook your grenades and an update to how stealth works. The last substantial change with this update was the addition of the Darkest Night feature. This allows players to experience the nights in a row as it should be in true darkness. Your MVGs will become your new best friend. Now we're going to switch it over to the biggest update developed by the Ghost Recon team, Operation Motherland. Operation Motherland was the last update on Ghost Recon Breakpoint and took just under a year to develop. Your mission on a row was over, but a few months later, the island became a key strategic target for powerful countries interested in controlling the island and its technology. The CIA was looking to ease global tensions by giving power on the island to a neutral force, the Outcasts, and turning Aroa into an autonomous country. Karen Bowman, a favorite from Ghost Recon Wildlands, returns to lead the operation and introduces new game modes, weapons, atmosphere, and the return of the Bodarks. The Conquest mode is a new take on the systems that were in place in Ghost Recon Wildlands, where you need to destabilize the Bodarks' presence and players' actions having consequences on the island of Aroa. We see the return of faction warfare between the Bodarks and the Outcasts, which allows for more action on the island. We also see the return of the optical camo feature and a brand new progression system. We raise the maximum XP level to 99 and a new way to generate mastery for your weapons. One last part of Ghost Recon Breakpoint we want to dive into is the changes and the diversity of our weapons and gear that we've had since launch. Since launch, we have added multiple weapons, attachments, and have even allowed the modification of the weapons of Ghost Recon Breakpoint even further. We have over 80 different weapons that supply a variety of different playstyles. These different weapons also have the choice between multiple different attachments. For most weapons on Ghost Recon Breakpoint, you can modify the barrel, magazine, muzzle, rail attachment, scope, stock, trigger, and underbarrel. And we couldn't just talk about the weapons without mentioning the customization gear Ghost Recon Breakpoint has to offer as well. We've added multiple pieces of gear since launch. Did someone mention ghillie hoods? These pieces allow for a deep customization of your character right down to the selecting of colors for all your different pieces of gear. Ghost Recon Breakpoint has seen a lot of added content over the years, from missions, live events, weapons, attachments, and gear customization, just to name a few. There is something for all different playstyles and visual preferences. Operation Motherland is a true callback to what players liked from Ghost Recon Wildlands, and the Ghost Experience really gives you the ability to customize your gameplay settings. If you're looking for an RPG looter experience, or if you're looking to get your tactical fix, Ghost Recon Breakpoint will allow just that for you. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the rest of the game plan videos we have to offer for other Ubisoft titles. In the meantime, we hope you have a blast in a row of ghosts.